Jung turned his black back on Freud's blinking, blinkered tunnel vision and, arguably, looked down on his former friend's introverted, grassroots view and its solitary, unfootable focus. With his head in the clouds and thinking, the sky's the limit, like sky subscription charges for the football. Heavens! Jung added soul to soul to two souls, plimsolls. Not soul or soul to soul. Leaving his trainer in just the unjust dust of train trailing trainers. Not swinging the lead, Jung takes the lead and gets ahead. I'm not going to say anything about trains and tunnels. Trains and tunnels. You can read between the lines and not go off track, suggesting your own jesting, smutty symbolism or digging out and digging, not dogging, the sex scene sequence in swell and swelling comedy flick sequel, The Naked Gun Two and a Half, The Smell of Fear. The Naked Gun Two and a Half. Oh, fancy! Here it is. Train your eyes on the no surprise train tunnelling from 2 minutes and 9 seconds to 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Leslie Nielsen as Frank Drebin and Priscilla Presley as Jane Spencer in an intercut scene lampooning blooming heavy-handed illusions and Freudian imagery. Free association running. Leaving the railroad for the real road, Jung's shadow self keeps a pace in the chase, checking in with checked if not check balls rather than the chequered flag of the racetrack, extending his gate from the Brandenburg gate, so as not to be late to Munich's Bavarian state. Then a stopgap in Stuttgart, and an hour at the Tower, if not the Tower, although a tour of two tours, if not a tale of two cities, would be as Gallic as phallic through a link with that uh, right royal bastard, Willy Conk. Go to page 11 of 20.